Hey guys, Camille Lambert, field agronomist with Bex Hybrids. And I'm Brandon Summers, PFR lead here at the Henderson, Kentucky site. We've got a lot of rain in the forecast, so we thought it would be a really good time to go over some best practices with anhydrous ammonia and some things that we've learned in PFR. When we talk about anhydrous, it's important to know a couple common things. So first of all, anhydrous ammonia is the highest concentrated nitrogen fertilizer that we use, containing about 82% nitrogen out of every 100 pounds applied. At regular temperatures and pressures, it's actually a gas. So that's why we have to keep it under pressure because as soon as that pressure is released and it reacts with oxygen and water, um, it becomes a gas. So just knowing a little bit about anhydrous really helps you understand why depth and placement is important. So when we have our soil, so we've got our negatively charged soil here. Okay, we've got all these little negative charges. When we apply our anhydrous, so we've got a lot of anhydrous particles here, it actually reacts with the water. So we have H2O. So there's two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen. So what happens is this, an, this anhydrous ammonia takes one of the hydrogens and in return, so these two kind of join together and it becomes NH four plus. And when that happens, it allows it to, to actually attach to the negative soil particle and it prevents a lot of the movement. By knowing how anhydrous reacts in the soil, you can better understand how it will actually diffuse. So when you place anhydrous, it moves out into a circular band. It's more concentrated in the center, but that band can be three to four inches, but it's highly variable upon your soil type your soil texture, organic matter, and the amount of moisture in your soil, which is really a big piece because if you were to place your anhydrous into a coarse dry soil, that band's gonna get a lot bigger than if you place it into a moist soil condition. So we wanna make sure, especially if we're placing our anhydrous maybe offset a little bit or even at a diagonal, that we don't get too close to those vulnerable roots that are growing. We wanna make sure we get it deep enough and into that moisture. In 2019, we actually did some studies here in Henderson looking at anhydrous ammonia. So Brandon, could you tell me a little bit about one of those studies? Yeah, so we did an anhydrous depth and timing study where we looked at applying the ammonia eight inches deep and four inches deep, uh, both seven days before we planted and two days before we planted. And what we found was when we can put that anhydrous deeper, we really reduce the risk of burning that seedling, uh, when, especially when it's directly underneath the row. Uh, the shallower we go, so at that four inch depth and waiting the, just two days, we saw almost a $60 per acre wow. loss from, from that application. So this data actually backs up the description of that band that I gave you earlier, talking about how you need to place it deeper so that you don't have that root burn. So we can do some things to mitigate or reduce the risk of burning that corn plant early in the season. The first being if we have RTK capabilities or our ammonia applicator, we can put that ammonia directly in the center of the row to keep it away from the corn plant. Uh, we've looked at that in PFR and we definitely saw an advantage to putting that ammonia in the center of the row versus having it directly underneath. So we actually dug up those corn plants this past year and we did see some root burn when we had it directly under. So we want to make sure we can keep it away from those roots, especially if it we're at a more shallow depth. So there are some things we can do to help make sure that we don't have excessive loss when we make our ammonia application. First thing we want to do is make sure that our knives are in good shape, that they're not excessively wore. And also we want to have some kind of closing device on the back of the applicator to help seal up after that knife goes through to help keep that ammonia in the ground. We also want to do a safety check on our hoses, right? Yeah, so ammonia is one of the more dangerous uh, nitrogen products out there. We just want to make sure all of our hoses are up to date. Uh, to help reduce any kind of injury uh, to the guy making the application. Yep. So hopefully this video will be of use to you. If you'd like to see more videos like this from us, make sure you subscribe to 733337. You can text my last name Lambert or also Austin Scott's last name Scott to that number.